Here is a quick review of uh, McDonald's Happy Meals uh, Transformers Prime toys uh, out this uh, March 2012. Um, I'm going to go through all eight of them and show them off a little bit. This is uh, Optimus Prime, um, the first toy in the series. And uh, he's on wheels, rolls pretty good. And his special feature, um, you flip on his switch and you pull his um, uh, stacks down and he lights up. And uh, kind of hard to see, so let's see if this helps any. So yeah, it's got a little bit of glowingness. Kind of weird. I've uh, watched Transformers Prime now. Um, I haven't seen all the episodes, but I don't remember him glowing like that. So <laughs> that's that's kind of a weird feature for Optimus Prime. <laughs> but you know, okay, whatever. His little front insignia lights up. Um, kind of hard to see with all the light I got, but um, I would say you know. Five out of ten on, on Optimus. <laughs> See ya. Next up is the number two toy. It's Megatron in his cool Cybertronian jet. Um, he does two things actually, which is kind of cool. He's got a uh, missile launcher thing on the bottom. And uh, you press this button right here and... Wow, it actually shot pretty well. Let me pop that back in. So yeah, I'll, I'll never get that back. That just flew by in the desk. He also has a little flashlight up top um, for laser fire, and you you pull it uh, or you push it forward. That's right, and you get a little green laser. That almost is a little better than Optimus's effect because it, it's a lot brighter. So that's kind of cool. I'd give this guy you know eight out of ten for success. Number three is everyone's fan's favorite Bumblebee. Pretty neat little transformer here. Um, in vehicle mode. Um, all of these are in vehicle mode. And I uh, kind of like it. I think uh, it, it, even though, you know, yeah, most people want their transformers to transform, these are, are just stuck in vehicle mode. But, man, they look kind of neat. So, yeah, you put in a little blaster on Bumblebee and press his red thing there. And he, Shoots his missile. Not bad. He rolls pretty well. Pretty, pretty good size. So yeah, I think Bumblebee turned out pretty well. I give him eight out of ten. The mighty Star Scream. Star Scream looks really neat. It's got a really cool plane, plane look to him. Uh, his features kind of lame though. <laughs> Just press his little purple button and, ooh, that's it. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that is. I guess they're little uh, missile bombs that that would come out the cockpit there, but yeah, I yeah, kind of kind of limit limited on this one. So I'd give this one maybe a three out of ten. Now we've got Transformer Pinkie Pie. Um, I'm a little bit confused on Pinkie Pie. I've never seen her in the show, so I don't know really what her character is. But she's got some really pretty hair to to um, comb and this clip that you can hang on your bag. So that's that's Transformers Pinkie Pie. She's pretty neat. Um, so now we've got uh, Bulkhead, who is the fifth, number five in the series. And Bulkhead's got some nice, also nice wheels. They all roll really well and some nice, nice, pretty good wheels for change. And Bulkhead's got a really cool disc feature where you insert discs up in his front there. And when you pull back the uh, roof of his car, they, they really shoot out pretty well. The, you know, that's that's a pretty good shoot. Um, they're cardboard discs, unfortunately, but you know, that's still neat. I think that Bulkhead came out really well. He looks good. Kind of has some clear plastic up on top. I'd give Bulkhead, you know, an eight out of ten. I think my favorite in the series is Breakdown. Um, I, I like what they've done with him in the sense that you turn his back tire here and it flips up the hood to reveal a, a, a cannon. And this to me is the most Transformer-like out of all of them. It has a, 
it transforms and it has an action feature. I think more of them would have been better with that feature. So um, he's big, he's good color, good navy blue. Um, definitely one of my favorites. Rolls really well, actually. He rolls the best. I'd give him 9, 10 out of 10. He's my favorite. Definitely cool. And then we've got Ratchet. And Ratchet is um, got a couple things. He's you, kind of dumb here. You pull back and then you press on his red button and it shoots this little what, fire hydrant fire thing out of him. So that's kind of funny. And then um, he's kind of naked. So you have to put on his stickers. Um, and I don't, I don't really want to do that right now. <laughs> it's late. I'm tired. So maybe, maybe I'll do another review on Ratchet with his stickers, because <laughs> that's, yeah. And then, you know, the stickers ruin the, then, you know, they start peeling off, and I've never been too much of a fan. I mean, I love putting them on. That's kind of a fun old, old thing to do, but then they always peel off, so. Ratchet, maybe 5 out of 10, because he does, he does keep you amused. I'll take him out of the woo! <laughs> and finally, the last one here um, is the Almighty Knockout. There he is. And Knockout's actually pretty good too. He's kind of like Breakdown, where he's got more of a transformer feature. Um, you hit his front bumper there, and some guns pop up, which I think is a really nice, nice little effect. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could put Bumblebee and ram him in there and knock up his his guns and boom. <laughs> so there we go and that is knockout so again i think i think what's really neat about this series is that they just stuck with one theme this time instead of giving us a million different um a million different versions um or like not a million versions but like say a robot and a car version and just you know they don't look good as a set but I think these these look really great together um, they look good on a shelf um, I mean if you want your robot versions just you know buy buy the ones that are supposed to do the robot versions so um, I think a really neat little series they've got going here um, I'm so psyched to get them all at once I got lucky um, Pinkie Pie again is a really weird not not sure how she fits in, but um, yeah, a, a very cool series. Um, uh, probably the best I've seen since the Tonka Trucks of 2011. Um, so that is a first look at some of these great new toys. So go to your McDonald's today, uh, I think it's March, and a little bit of April to, to pick one of these up. So that is my story. Subscribe to the Squirrel Stampede channel. Um, for more antics, visit the toymuseum.blogspot.com.